Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining our World Summit presentation. My name is Richard Square, and I'm from Hungry Miles Software. We are a tech company based in Australia, a long way away from Qt headquarters, but we are big supporters of Qt technology down under. We are delighted to share our WebAssembly experiences with you today. We have been using the technology on multiple projects for the last two years, and we believe that the Qt WebAssembly really is ready for prime time. Up until recently, everything about Qt has been about native client apps for desktop, mobile, and devices. Web has always been missing. The purpose of our presentation today is to share how impressed we have been with the Qt technology and WebAssembly. I will start out with a brief introduction on web application development. I'll then give you a demonstration of an app that we have developed that uses WebAssembly technology. And once we've looked at this, I'll then go through some high level design and development considerations that I hope you might appreciate. I'll summarize feedback for what we from, from our customers and developers, and then I'll finish with a perspective on this for the future of web development. As with all World Summit presentations this year, please do send through questions live and we will respond during the presentation. So today, we are focusing on web applications, and I think it helps to reflect on how web development has changed over the last 30 years. For those of you who are a bit older like me, you will recall the significance of the web development going mainstream and that HTML provided the interface for anyone in the world to access information. Applications were almost all page-based and developers had to throw out traditional software development tools and methods. Additional tools like ASP.NET or PHP came about to make it easier to create dynamic HTML user interfaces. Moving to current times, we now have powerful browser software and there's standardization of web APIs, JavaScript and CSS, and scripting frameworks like React and Angular have supported what is now an expectation for modern web user interfaces. We refer to the current web JavaScript development apps as apps, uh, even though they use HTML, CSS and the DOM, because they so significantly improve user interaction and experience that input access and update information. That said, it still isn't easy to create sophisticated apps. Moving to the future, we have the technology called WebAssembly, or WASM. The World Wide Web Consortium recommended the technology in 2019 and has had contribution from all the technology players, Microsoft, Google, Apple, Intel, and others. WebAssembly promises the capability for high performance code to run across all browsers. Importantly too, this is a capability that does not need HTML, the DOM, or JavaScript. The significance of WebAssembly is huge for Qt. It means that for the first time, Qt can viably provide native client applications for the browser. A web app is now a native Qt client app that is downloaded and run in the browser of your choice. Let's see the technology in action. Our client, Prospero, is an online financial planning company. They provide tools for advisors to help customers with simulation and modeling for retirement, investment, and other financial scenarios such as funding. Prospera has a sophisticated actuarial modeling service backend and an application with over 50 user interfaces. Prospera approached us because they wanted to move to the more general consumer market, and they know that user experience is critical for this expansion. With a limited budget, they needed to redevelop their entire online application to provide a modern, engaging experience. Another thing, too, is that they could see the possibility in the future a need to provide standalone and offline applications for mobile and tablets. So with this, we were delighted to propose Qt as a platform solution. Today, we will show you the existing application and then a demonstration of the new development.
The original application is a browser-based app and uses PHP. This is an older technology that can provide cost-effective online web solutions. Being an older app, you can see that the server is required each time you hit a submit action. The user interface is restricted because you need to take this into account when achieving the design. As you can clearly note too, that the user interface is not adaptive or responsive. This requires additional complexity and frameworks to assist us with this development. On this user interface, we can enter personal details and initial setup to commence the financial plan. Once completed, you can see the current results, which provide some graphical analysis. We will now switch to the new application written in Qt and Wasm. You'll see the very same features provided. Because this is a rich client application, the same features can be designed in a much more elegant way. Many user interfaces are collapsed into a single interface. The application is downloaded and formatting, validation, and other features provide immediate feedback. The UI responds to any click or touch and the data is asynchronously updated and retrieved. The user interface is adaptive and responsive. The UI is taking into account the available screen size and is touch friendly. I'll hit the refresh on the browser and you can see a small but acceptable WebAssembly startup. So before we get into the technology assessment, let's compare the web application with the Windows desktop application. The web application is on the right hand side. And there you have it, almost full fidelity on the same code base. I'd like to share some design and architectural considerations that you need to consider for web development. The first thing to mention is that even though you can use C++, we standardize on QML entirely for the application user interface and logic. This provides great velocity and delineates the application from the architecture. For architecture, only Qt and HungryMile software C++ components and runtimes are used. The app you have just seen uses a range of Qt libraries. Qt Quick provides a great cross-platform result. We've also used extension libraries such as Qt Chops. As you know, a key consideration for web development is that user interfaces are responsive to screen size. Unlike in CSS, we normally apply large amounts of static style code in QML, you can bind your UI in the same elegant way you do for client apps. Binding is possible not only on the available screen width, but on properties of the user interface elements themselves. We find, for example, that the QML grid layout provides a very powerful structure for many web layouts. As you know, components are very easy to create and use in in uh, QML, components provide a very powerful way of creating reusable user interface parts. We think that binding and components alone provide the killer tool set to allow management of complexity on web apps. Use of UI and business logic is really well integrated. For the issue of threading, originally there were some browsers and setup that made multi-threading in Wasm a little messy. But these days you can look at modern threading. In our case though, we have, in all of our development, settled on a single threading model. 
We've found that you can use all the controls you need in an asynchronous way and rely on the runtime and architecture to ensure that the user interface is not blocked at any point. For a web app, it does, it, it, it may seem odd to think of it, but you do need to consider how you interact with a backend service. Normally, this is a bit of a non consideration. The existing browser web connection is assumed. An option with Qt is to consider MQTT. We implemented this over HTTPS and WebSockets, and we find this provides a terrific asynchronous option for publishing, and you can almost treat your app as an IoT. With a queuing backend, we provide offline, semi online, and online web apps with relative ease. One thing we think makes a big difference for web development is to see the development, not as development, but as engineering. What I mean by this is that you can use the normal rigor and software development process that you may be used to in desktop apps. What you're looking at here is our development test tool that allows a feature to be developed as user interface components. Shown here is an input with summary, read and update views. This means you can see results immediately on changing code and you can test multiple scenarios in one go. We've had an, had an overwhelmingly positive customer user experience response with our WebAssembly apps. We typically deploy our online apps as a full screen app that is not, it's not contained in another web page or frame. There is a small download time for, Web for the WebAssembly application, as you saw. That's it. There are some big frameworks out there that have a download and start times too. We find that even with large applications, the response time is quite acceptable. Users find that when running applications, these are very engaging and easy to use. Working over HTTP, we find there's no access or firewall issues uh, getting access to the app. We have also not come across any browser issues. One thing we do want to mention is that there is limited, uh, there is limitation in the deployment for mobile browsers with the lack of a native virtual keyboard support. And I believe though, this has now been addressed in Q64. So what is the developer experience of WASM? Qt have come a long way over the last three years. We found the updated 5.5 Qt Creator Toolset does a pretty good job to support the web platform. Compilation is now well integrated, and this is now a lot faster. We do find, though, that you're better off developing with a desktop target and then swap over to a web target when you're ready to confirm the platform and to deploy. We found simple and even complex applications are all suited to being developed in WASM, and that even if there's no intention to target other platforms, you can rest assured that you can support these other platforms too. We have not as yet found a size limit on the range of business apps that we have developed. The biggest thing though about Qt and Wasm is that web development does not need to be a separate skill base. The work can be done in the very same team as the mobile and development work. With appropriate libraries and architectures, we estimate a five times development productivity on WebAssembly compared to our prior experience with, with JavaScript and React. The final point to make here is the simplicity of being able to deliver and package your WebAssembly in the same process as your client applications. So in summary, we are very excited to have embraced Qt and WebAssembly. We've committed to use the technology for all our future online development. And the only way is up. We look forward to helping other customers provide premium applications at a fraction of the normal development and maintenance effort. We've only had a limited amount of time today. So please check out our website, hungrymilesoftware.com for more information on how we use the technology and also for supporting products and services that you might services that you might be interested. Thank you so much for for uh, participating today, and we wish you all the best in your future projects. <laughs>